In this video, we are going to synthesize a cobalt corolle with a dimethyl sulfoxide apical ligand. The procedure was reported by us in the European Journal of Inorganic Chemistry last year. First, we weigh 100 mg of the free base corol, which can be seen in this vial. We also weigh 100 mg of cobalt acetate tetrahydrate, which is around a 2.5 molar excess. We pour the corol into 30 ml of dimethyl sulfoxide in a round bottom flask and bubble it with nitrogen for about 10 minutes. Then we pour the cobalt acetate and heat up to 80 degrees Celsius. While the reaction continues, we weigh 20 grams of sodium chloride. We add the sodium chloride to a flask and then we pour 100 ml of distilled water. We mix it thoroughly and then we put it in the freezer for the remaining time of the reaction. The reaction mixture has a more reddish color. We check the reaction by TLC running in 3 parts hexane, 1 part DCM. We have only one spot. The smear is due to the DMSO in the sample. We remove the reaction that now looks much more red from the heat. We remove the brine solution from the freezer. It's ice cold but not frozen. We pour the content of the reaction flask onto the brine using a pipette. We can see that a brick red precipitate forms almost instantly. We keep pouring the rest of the content of the reaction flask. The red color is nicer to see in person and it means that the reaction has worked pretty well. After letting the suspension of the cobalt corol in brine stand for a few minutes, we filter it using a simple filter paper. We add the suspension by pipette slowly. When the filter paper is wet, we can start pouring faster the rest of the flask contents. We see that the filtrate is clear, no corol has gone through. We wash the precipitate with water and we see that the filtrate has a slight pink color due to the excess cobalt which is dissolved in the water. The workup of this cobalt corol through recrystallization will be shown in a following video. Thank you very much.